What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with some more Farming Simulator 19. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops out there fighting for our freedom. Um, guys, today we are going to be plowing this field right here. <clears throat> I've been working on my farm quite a bit and uh, as you can see I got some corn growing over there. I've got a couple corn fields back that way. Uh, some oats, some wheat, some uh, sugar beets. All kinds of good stuff going on. So let's get right on to this tractor. Let's fire it up. Back the camera out a little bit. We're going to drop it down. I think the field starts about right here. But we'll find out once we start plowing. Okay, that's where it starts right there. There we go. So we're going to plow this field. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Uh, I hope everybody's happy. And where you want to be in life, it's very important to be happy, you know. Um, if you are in a dark time in your life, just know that you're not alone. Um, I say this in every video, but I say it because I understand, just as everybody understands what it's like to be in dark times in your life. And, um, you know, I just want you to know, if you're in a dark time in your life right now, you're not alone. You're definitely not alone. We've all been there. Um, I've been there. I've been in some dark times in my life where... I just thought there was no return, you know, and there, there was just, uh, there was, there was an, there was going to be an end, you know, a bad end, and, uh, but you know, uh, God pulled me through it, God has pulled me through it, and uh, sorry for the notification, guys, I thought I had my notifications turned off, I always do that, but uh, God pulled me through it, and I'm, I'm thankful to say that I'm here, and that I'm alive, and you know, uh, you just, that's, that's where you're, that's where you got to, you got to put your faith in God, and um, you got to depend on Him. Uh, you know we're not perfect by any means. We we do make mistakes. We're we're human beings. You know we were made in a flesh body, just as Jesus was. And and uh, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> but uh, you know that's what makes us human is because we do make mistakes, and and that's that's all part of being a human. But if you're in a dark time in your life right now, just just remember that you're not alone. And, uh, you know, that you do, there is a God. He's there. And even though sometimes it, it may seem like he's not listening, he is. And sometimes it may seem like he's a million miles away. He's not. He's right there beside you at all times. No matter what you're going through, God is there. He's always there. God is a supernatural God, and it makes me happy inside. It makes me glad to talk about it because I know um, what I've been through in life, and from my experience, I can tell you that God is amazing. And, man, guys, I'm just I'm humbled by it. You know, talking about this experience, I'm just I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive. I'm lucky to be alive. You know, I've been through some things in life that, that should have killed me. I've been through some things in life that that um that really honestly should have taken me out but it didn't because we have a loving and merciful god and a forgiving god you know god loves us so much that our mind cannot even begin to fathom as to how much he truly loves us and uh it's just it's amazing when you really feel that love of god it's amazing when your heart is touched by the lord it's it's pretty awesome but um, I'll step off my soapbox and, and get back to this game. But I'm just really happy today, guys. It's, it's been a great day. It's been a great weekend. Um, it is Sunday right now, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm streaming my game for you guys for the week. Because I want you guys to have something to be entertained by. Y'all you know, try to be as funny as I can. Um, if you guys didn't notice, um, I, I'm, I don't curse. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a cursing person, so you're not, you're not going to hear me curse on my videos. Um, but I will try to be as funny as I can, um, and I'll try to be as entertaining as possible. I need to get this tractor over just a little bit more. That's it's just a little on the edge there. So, but I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I really hope that you do. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for videos at all, please leave your comments in the section in the comments section below. Um, slap a like on my video, that'd be greatly appreciated, and a subscription if you're not already subscribed, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Um, this past week I did hit 51 subscribers, so I'm halfway to 100, I'm pretty excited. 
you know, I told you guys a long time ago when I first started doing this, for those of you that have been watching me this whole time, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to reveal my real name at a thousand subscribers. So if you're one of my subscribers and you already know my real name, please don't put it in the comment section. <laughs> because um, I really do want to wait to a thousand subscribers to reveal who I really am. And um, maybe even a, a, I'll do a, a video stream where I can... Uh, uh, actually show who I am and show my face and and uh, you know just I don't know if you guys are inter interested in any of that but just wanted to throw that out there and remind you guys that at a thousand subscribers I'm going to reveal who I am so uh, this field's turned out actually really really nice it's uh it's really nice I maybe shouldn't have got maybe should have gotten a maybe a little bit of a faster tractor for this job because um, this one is, is kind of slow, but it is the, um, it is in fact the Fendant, I believe. Is that how you say it? Fendant? The Fendant, uh, tractor is that how, is that how it goes? And I'm, I'm having to keep scooping my tractor over here because it's, it's, um, it's going to end up being short here on the, on the plow. And I don't want to miss any spots. I don't like going back and correcting my spots, but, you know, if I do miss a spot, I'll go back and, and I will definitely correct it, but. Uh, you know this game, man. This game is so much fun. This is um, you know, back to my uh, back to my soapboxes. You know, I I've, I've been reading the Bible my whole life, and I know a lot about the Bible. I know a lot of scriptures and a lot about what God is all about and His Word and 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 what He requires of us as Christians. And and um, you know, I think the reason this game, I try to relate my games to God when I when I play them. And I think the reason this game uh, attracts me so much is because, you know, when I'm working that harvester, just for instance, that cornfield over there, when I harvest corn, you know, it reminds me of the part in the Bible where God talks about the harvest of the people. You know, when he comes back and he picks up his people, the harvest of the people. And I think that's why this game um, just gets me so much because, you know, I'm harvesting corn, I'm harvesting wheat. I'm harvesting potatoes. I'm harvesting sugar beets. It's labor. It's all about labor, you know. And the Bible says a man is, is only worth his labor. You know, so when someone does work for you, you want to pay them what they're worth. You know, and that's what this game is all about. It's about work. That's all it is. You work, 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 work. There's never no... Uh, when I play this game, I don't just stand around and do nothing. I'm constantly doing something on here. <laughs> But I think that's why this game gets to me so much is because of that. You know, um, it's uh, it's just it has a lot, a lot to do with that—the harvest of God's people and and the labor part of it. You know, it's it's just a really cool game. And I don't know if anybody else looks at it like that, or maybe you do. I don't know. I don't really um, know each and every one of you on a personal personal level, which. Um, it's fine with me. I would love to get to know each one of my subscribers on a personal level. That would be great. That's why I want you guys to leave your comments in the section below. Let me know who you are. Um, you don't have to tell me where you're from. I know you don't want to put all that on, 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 a, on a public page. That's fine. And you don't have to put your name. I just like to know a little bit about you. So if, um, if there is something that you'd like to tell me about yourself, just so we can get acquainted and know one another, uh, just put it in the comments below. I would love to get to know you guys. Because, you know, I'm one of them people that, that when I meet you for the first time, I taught you like I've known you my whole life. And that's the way I was raised, and I'm glad that, that I was raised like that. You know, my dad raised me on the Bible, and um, I could never, ever thank my dad enough for raising me on the good book. It's just, um, you know, with the way the world is, man, God is all we have. It really is. God is all we have in a world that we're in. God is all we have. And uh, trust me, as bad as the world is, God is still looking over it. He still looks over this world every day. Every single day he looks over this world. So, uh, but I just want you guys to know I love you. I love you guys and girls. Um, I appreciate you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you listening to me. And um, I appreciate all the love and support that you guys continuously give me every day on my videos. And uh, But thank you so much, guys. I don't say that enough to you guys and girls but thank you so much for watching my videos all the time i thank you i thank you i thank you so much but anyway so once i get this field plowed here i'm not really sure what i want to plant 
I haven't really figured that part out yet. <clears throat> but it does take a while to plow. It takes some patience, but you know that's that's what it's all about. It's it's about the the time and and you know you got to have the patience for it. And so, but uh, it will get done eventually. Whether it's uh, in this episode or the next episode of Criminal Justice, it will definitely um, definitely get done. Um, you know, I, I had spoken a long time ago about changing my YouTube name from Criminal Justice to something else. Uh, something to do with gaming, maybe something to do with, with God. And I wasn't too sure about changing it. But I've been pretty set on the name Criminal Justice for quite some time. And uh, I'm, on, I'm under Criminal Justice on my YouTube. I'm under Criminal Justice on my Discord. Uh, I'm under Gamer for Life on my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, and my Facebook, I think, is under my roleplay character's name from GTA, which is uh, Officer Bailey. I think that's what my Facebook name is under. I'm pretty sure. Um, I think it's actually under Jasper Bailey. That was my, my roleplay character's name. But, uh, you know, if you guys want to follow me on those on those links, I'll leave those in the description below for you guys to click on and follow me. Um, you know, and, and like I told you guys before, if you guys, um, if you guys do decide to follow me on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it may be, and you find me, shoot me a message. I'll respond to you, I promise. I, I will respond to you. I'll, I'll keep up with you guys, and I won't leave you guys hanging. Um, I will respond to you as soon as I can. Um, but I would really greatly appreciate it just, just to know that that one of you actually uh, followed me from YouTube on a U on the Instagram or on the Twitter or Facebook or my Discord. Um, you know, join me on those things. Join me on those things and and continue the support for me. And um, and I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would do that. That would that would really mean a lot to me. Um, but I really really appreciate you guys so much. I really do. But this game is so much fun. It's just, it's so relaxing. And I just dig, like, I dig being in this tractor. You know, the first person, of course, you, know, you got your indicators, turn signal indicators. I mean, how much more realistic can a game get? You know, and then there's your headlight indicators under the bottom, that little green, that little red light coming on there. See it? Right, right by that green light at the bottom. You can barely see it, but it's there. See it? And then you got a light up on the top of your dash, too. But uh, it's pretty cool, though, how they make these games. Uh, the technology we have, it's, it's, it's nothing short of amazing. Now, this field is coming along really good. I'm really pleased with the way it's turning out. Um, I actually had come over here and mowed the grass uh, over the field in the area before I actually started my stream. Oh, I got to turn that thing over. I forgot to turn it over. You believe that? I usually raise it and turn it over every time I call out the field. I didn't do it that time. I was talking. Got distracted. Um, but uh, I don't even know what I was saying now. I completely lost track of what I was saying. <laughs> oh, what I was saying is before I actually started my stream, um, I actually come over here and mowed this entire field that you see right here, the one we're plowing, where you see all the light green grass, the short grass. I actually mowed it all so I could come over here and plow it. Um... And I finally got some cattle. I've got some cattle back up that way. See where my, my big farmhouse up there? I've got cattle on the other side of that farm over there. A little ways on the other side. So, um, but, you know, having cattle is fun. I mean, it really all it requires is for you to feed them and water them. And, and the milk sells itself. So, the milk sells itself is what I meant to say. So, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. And the chickens aren't that hard to take care of, but... And, you know, but then you got to haul the eggs off and all that. So I'm still determining whether I want to get chickens and whether I want to get sheep. Because I had sheep on my last farm, but I deleted the farm because I got all confused with it and had too much stuff on there. And, and um, if you guys can see my money up there with all the clear skies going on and all the money I have, um, there's actually a money glitch to this game that I've actually made a video of, and I'll put a link in the description below for that as well so you guys can actually... Um, check out the money glitch on that. The money glitch video. Let's flip that over again. We remember to flip it this time. So 
So, um, but yeah, you, I'll definitely leave a link in the description below. You guys just click on it. I'll put, um, I'll write something like um, money glitch is what I usually write. And then that the, it'll have the link below and you guys just click on that. And it'll take it to my video where it shows the money glitch on this game. It's actually quite simple. It's really quite simple to do. Um, there's actually a couple different money glitches you can do in this game. But um, I'll leave the easy one for you guys. Uh, this is a it's it's a really cool game. I've been playing the farming simulator since 15 came out. That's the first one I ever played because that's the first one they had on console. Um, and I've been I've been playing them ever since. Never thought I would like simulator games, but I sure do like this one. Um, I do have a couple simulator games on my PC. I've got um, I just recently got uh, did a video of the Enforcer Police Crime Action video uh, on the PC game. And then I recently purchased um, the uh, flashing lights simulator. So on the flashing light simulator, you can actually be a, a police officer, you can be a firefighter, or you can be a medic. Pick pick one. You know you can you can do all three if you want. But uh, it's actually a pretty cool game too. So, but I'll be uh, I'll be streaming that for you guys as well. As most of you know, I've gotten an Elgato box, so I can now stream um, my Nintendo Switch. I can stream my Xbox 360, and once I get the proper HDMI connection for my Wii, I can stream that as well because I have tons and tons and tons of games for my Wii. Um, you know, like the you know my favorite games on the Wii to always play were the. Um, were like the uh, strategic sports games where you could like, you know, shoot your bow and arrows and stuff in the targets and and uh, you could play ping pong or you could, uh, you know, run or box or anything like that. I always loved them little games. They were always really cool. But um, I'll be streaming that for you guys as well. So if you guys have any Wii games that, that you have in mind that you want me to stream or games from the Switch or 360 you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. And if I have the game, I'll play it for you. If I don't, I'll do my best to get it. I will definitely do my best to get it. Now, this field is just about done. We don't have much left. And we don't have much time left on the video either. I try to keep my videos at um, 30 minutes max, 20 minutes minimum. So, uh, we might go on to, the, to a 30-minute video here. I'm not sure, but... I'm really just kind of confused about what to plant here after I get done because I've already got corn, oats, wheat, sugar beets. Um, I've got potatoes somewhere on this farm because uh, with with the money glitch, it actually was able to. I was actually able to purchase the the entire land, um, so I own every single piece of land on the game. Um, I'll pause it real quick and show you guys. The tractor will keep rolling. If you'll notice, see, I own every piece of land here. So, there you go. Money Glitch will do that for you, that's for sure. Oh, I accidentally hired a worker. Let me get that going again. Alright, so. There we go. I do apologize for those notifications, guys. Alright, so we, uh... I just wish this tractor would go a little bit faster because this is, uh, it's really slow. <laughs> Terribly slow, actually. And this is supposed to be the really good, um, Fennet tractor. Like, it's supposed to be the really good one. That's the Fennet 1050. So, I like these views like this. It looks really cool like that. I love those views. Alright, so... Almost got this part done. Think about getting me a bigger plow. So to get the job done a little quicker, you know what I mean? Because this is actually, uh, I don't know if this is the biggest plow they have, but it's one of the bigger ones. But I'm sure they have bigger plows than this on the game. I just haven't taken time to look. I seen this one, I liked the way it looked. I thought I'd, it'll get the job done, and I grabbed it, so. All right, here we go back up. And this is the slow part going back up the hill. So, um, how many of you guys actually play the Farmer Simulator games? Like, if you play 15, 17, 19, 
Um, let me know uh, in the comments below. I actually play 17 as much as I do 19. Um, I don't have 15 right now at the time. I don't know if I said I did while ago or not, but if I did, I, I, I apologize because I actually don't own that game. It was actually on my Xbox Game Pass. Um, but I do own 19 and 17. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. But I am thinking about going and getting 15 because it's, on, it's, it's only 20 bucks now. And... Like, I did a lot of hard work on that farm, and, uh, you know, just, just to for, for them to take it off the game pass, and then I lose everything. So I actually thought about, uh, when I got on the stream going and getting that game, because it's like 20 bucks, it's not that much, but, uh, but the Farm Simulator 15, if you guys are interested, is 20 bucks right now, I think 17 is 30 bucks, and 19, of course, is still around like 40 or 50 bucks, I think, if you guys are interested in getting these games, if you don't already have them. We almost got this field tackled. It's almost done. And that's it. Turn it over. Sharp turn. This thing does make some sharp turns. I know that. I'm trying to get it over as far as I can to get as much as I can so I don't have to have to keep going back over things. See, that's right on the edge of right there. So that's getting quite a bit now. But I'm sure there's bigger plows you can get for this game. There's got to be. Got to be bigger plows. Let's see if y'all see how that's working. It's just digging that dirt up right there. And just plows your fields for you. But uh, it's pretty cool, man. I dig it. And, you know, the dirt. I've got the dirt. The, you can set your dirt on whether you want the dirt off, you know, whether you want it on slow dirt, normal dirt, or fast dirt. I set it on slow because even normal dirt, your tractor gets dirty so quick. And uh, so I've got it set on actually slow dirt right now um, just because, you know, it. I mean, you can see if that's on slow dirt right there. I mean, I can literally take my tractor from from the farm where I parked my tractor over to here and the wheels are already dirty. So, and that's just on slow dirt. So, you know, it is what it is, though. I can't imagine what it would be if I had it on normal. Sharp turn. And back we go. And, you know... I also need your guys' opinion on one other thing, too. Um, you know, I have three different intros that I have with my with my videos. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. Just depends on my mood and, and what I'm doing. Um, but, you, you know, as you guys know, I do have three different intros. And, um, but I'm, I'm actually thinking about just going to one solid intro and making an intro just, just, just for my gaming channel. You know, I don't, I don't know about using three different intros. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But if you guys have any ideas, suggestions, I'm always open for those. So throw them my way. Because I'm always looking for ways to make my YouTube channel better. or And to make it more successful. And to get more subscribers. So spread the word about my channel. If you have any suggestions about anything. Games. Ideas on my intros. Or how I can make my game better. Let me know. I'm always open for suggestions. Um, you, you're not going to make me angry. You're not going to make me mad. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not one of the people that's going to get offended and go off on you. So, um, but just let me know if you guys have any ideas for that because I'm really trying to think of a cool intro for my videos. One good intro that I can use on every single video. And, uh, I think that would be, uh, a cool thing to do. You know, just something short because my intros that I have now, some of them are 30 to 40 seconds long. And, uh, to me, I just think that's a little bit too long of an intro, but, you know, I made them, I thought they were cool and, and good for the time being, so, um, but that's what I have for now is those three intros, and you guys know what they are, y'all have seen them many times. So, we've just about got this field done, we don't like too much. I don't know if we're going to have time to finish the whole thing, we're going on 25 minutes almost right now, we're almost at 25 minutes. And we are in real time. Yeah, I just need one good solid intro for my videos. Something that, um, you know, maybe just 
has a few of the games that I play, like on my other intros, or something that just has my name pop up, says Criminal Justice, then end of the video. Because, you know, the quicker the better. Um, I, sometimes I think, um, you know, my, my views do lack sometimes because I think of my intros. Um, or maybe it's just my gaming in general, I don't know. That's why I want suggestions. And uh, if there's anybody out there watching me right now that is a successful YouTuber, and you have any ideas at all, or anybody has any ideas or suggestions, throw them my way. Please, I'm open for them. I'm always open for suggestions. Always. And up and turn. Like an exercise. And up and turn and up and turn. Alright. And we've almost got this, guys. Almost got it. Now, the way that the way that uh, plow is built is so weird. I'm trying to get it like in line just right. And I don't want to get it too far off the track. Look, cars back there. They need to make this game where the cars are more considerate of the farmers. Because they don't stop till they get like right up on you. They need to like, you know, stop way back there. I don't know. You know, when I was when I was a kid, you know, I was raised in the country. And, um, you know, of course... When we seen farmers on the road, it was just common courtesy to stop. You know, not when you were right up on their tractor, right up on their plow or their cedars or their or their you know cultivators or whatever they had in the back of that thing or their hay. You would stop, you know, way back, you know, at least at least ten to fifteen foot back. You would stop and let the farmers cross the road and let them do what they got to do. If they were cleaning up something on the road, you waited. That's common courtesy. That's the way it was. And you know what, the way the world is, people just don't have that common courtesy anymore. They're, everybody's in such a rush to do everything. It's like, come on, get out of my way. I'm ready to go. I got things to do. You know, that that's the way the world is. And, and unfortunately, that's the way it's going to be from now on. Um, it's it's just, you know, the world's not getting no better. It's getting worse. Uh, people are stealing more. People are killing more. Um, you know, our police are out of control. The government is crooked. You know, it's just, it's just all kinds of stuff that's going on in the world. And I... And I hope you guys stay tuned on stuff like that because it's very important to know what's going on in the world. It's very, very important to know that stuff. As you got to know, you know, you know, this is America. We're supposed to be free. And with sometimes with the videos I watch of the police and everything else, sometimes I don't feel like this is the land of the free the way God originally made it. Sometimes I, sometimes I think that, you know, we're in a police state, you know, or, you know, it's Nazi Germany, you know, or something like that, but... You know, it's supposed to be the land of the free, and we're supposed to be able to do what we want when we want to do it. You know, as long as it's not illegal or breaking the law. All right, let's drop it right there. So, but you know, I, I'm I'm proud of being American. I love being part of America. I love being free. You know, that's why I support our soldiers because they're the reason that we are. They're the reasons we are free. Yeah, them guys and those women leave their families behind, you know, wherever they may live, and they go thousands and thousands of miles away, and they sacrifice time with their families so that we can be free with ours, and so we can lay our, lay our heads down at night peacefully and go to sleep and say, you know what, I'm free. That's a good feeling. That's why the soldiers, the, the current soldiers that are, that are now in war and serving us, that serving the country right now, and the, especially the veterans, the guys that have been there and they're no longer in the service, but they're veterans. Those guys and girls deserve the utmost respect because they have laid their life on the line so many times. You know, and some of them have been permanently injured from being in war. And it's sad. It's sad because I don't feel like the veterans get treated fairly enough. I don't feel like our soldiers get paid enough. I think our soldiers should get paid top dollar. I think they should get paid a lot of money for what they do you know um just as much as i think the police should get paid good money if they're doing their job right you know if the cops are doing their job right they're not out there being corrupt and beating people up on purpose yes they should get top pay because those guys risk their lives every day too all right so we almost got this we are almost done i think we've got maybe one more row to go we might get it in the next row Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what we got going. Yeah, we should be able to get that in the next row. We should be able to. We're on 29 minutes right now, guys. We might go just a little bit over. But uh, we will get it done. 
it will eventually get done. Now this field has turned out very, very beautiful like. Very beautiful. Now my wife is actually in the room with me right now making the bed. So I'm I'm uh, actually got the tractor on cruise control and I'm over here helping her with the blankets a little bit here and the pillows and stuff and yeah, me and my wife are a team and that's the way it's supposed to be that's right right baby that's right I know you guys have probably never heard my wife on here but but she's uh she's the most beautiful woman in the whole world and she's good to me and and she loves me unconditionally just as I love her and she's a good woman and uh she has given me four beautiful, amazing girls. Uh, we have a 15-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 6-year-old, and a 3-month-old, right? Almost 3, huh? Almost, unfortunately, what? Yeah. Um, yeah, she's from a previous marriage. But uh, we, uh, we have... Um, the the oldest is mine from a previous marriage and then my wife uh we have a seven year old a six year old and a three month old together so and uh so you know i have a really nice family and i'm proud of i'm proud with my family you know what guys we're not going to get this in this world we're going to come back again ain't we look at that yeah i would have thought that plow would have got that this is why i need a bigger plow huh <laughs> But, um, yeah, my wife's great. My kids are great. I love my family. I would, you know, I would do anything for my family. Even if it means sometimes coming out of my comfort zone. You know, that's what you do for the people you love. And uh, that's what life is all about, man. If you've got love, if you've got that unconditional love for someone, you've got that soulmate in your life, hang on to that, man. Don't mess that up. Don't do anything to jeopardize that. You just don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't do anything to mess that up. Because once that person's gone, they're gone. You know. And a lot of times, you know, if you do lie to somebody, they will forgive you and move on past it. Or if you cheat on somebody, they, they will forgive you and move on past it. But some people never move on from that. You know, and therefore it makes it hard for that person, those people to be together. You know, and uh, so, you know, what I'm saying, I guess my point is, is that if you have a loved one that you really cherish and they mean the world to you, you know, hang on to that person because, you know, they could be here one day and gone tomorrow. That's how quick life passes us by. I appreciate y'all watching my video today. It really means a lot. Uh, we're going to finish up this last row and then we're going to end the video. Let's see if I can't get it right here. I should be able to get all this right. Just got to make sure we got the edge of that plow right there on that line to make sure we're getting all I've still got it on cruise control and uh, guys this is it see I don't have see how it's when I click my left bumper see that guys see it up in the left hand corner it says allow create fields if I click that it'll start it'll start putting uh, it'll start digging dirt on the other side of the grass there instead of where the field is this is already this was a field that was already in the game and I just, I just replowed it. That's all I did. And you can actually, oh, I forgot that you could do that. I forgot you could do that. And uh, I just messed that up by doing that. So let's lift the plow back up. Let's take it back over. So you can, you can actually adjust the uh, plow. I completely just messed that up. Let me go back and make sure I'm getting the rest of this. Whoa, a little bit too much. All right, let's make sure the plow's adjusted right. Yeah, see that pulls the plow over. That takes the plow back over the other way. Okay, that's cool. I actually forgot about that little feature they had in the game. So hopefully we can get all of this right here in one go this time. We should be able to, I would think. If not, there'll just be like a little tiny strip left to get if we miss anything. Yeah. It's it actually wasn't me. It's just the field. It's a little wider right there. So we'll have to come back down and get that part too. So we are on 34 minutes, guys. Going on 35. 
Well, count my intro if I put it in. If I decide to put the intro in, I don't know if I will yet or not. You guys will find out when you watch the video, I guess. Um, we're gonna have one little, one more little part here to do, and then we'll be done. We can wrap it up. All right, up and over. And let me back this up a little bit. And make sure that's adjusted just right. Okay, so we got it that time. Alright, so this right here is going to get it all. But that's why, you know, the game allows you to flip your... Is it really not getting that last little part over there? Are you kidding me? Oh, you know what? No, I did it right. I actually did it right. Does it look like, does it look to you guys like there's a little part there left to get, like on the very edge that I didn't get? Because that's what it looks like to me, right over there. Or did I actually get it all? Because see, I think that's it. Let's go back around and check it out. See, this little part right here is what I'm talking about, right there on the edge. I don't know if that's um, if I have to get that or what, and we're gonna find out here real quick. We're gonna find out. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, I actually did have to get that. What do you know? I actually missed a spot, guys. I was just talking about that earlier. How I'd, I don't like missing spots, and I missed that. Yeah, I definitely think I need a bigger plow. I think I'm going to look into investing in a bigger plow. Let's turn it back over. We'll go back down. See how much faster the tractor goes when it's not running, when the plow's not running. We're going to drop it right there. And get that last little part, and then we'll be done, guys. This is it. We did it. I appreciate those who stuck with me to the whole video. I appreciate those who watched a little bit of the video. I appreciate all you guys. Really, I do. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's going to get the job done. But I'm going to take this on down through here just to make sure we got every single bit of it. Um, this is something I usually do <clears throat> just to make sure I got it all because I don't want to miss a spot because when I grow my crop, I want to make sure I'm growing it right. I want to make sure I'm getting every piece of dirt, every piece of field. I want to make sure it's going to grow in every spot that I can. Because the more crop that I grow, the more I can harvest, the more money I make. And that is it. That's it, guys. That is it. Let's go back and have a look at that beautiful field. Excuse me. My little horn, my little puny horn. Look at that, guys. That turned out really good, did it not? That actually turned out amazing. Look at that. Look at that beautiful field. Nice, nice, nice. I'm pleased, I'm pleased. I still got to cut all this grass down here. I, thought, I don't know if I want to cut the grass or I just want to like go into my sculpting like this. And uh, yeah, see there's my little hay barn. This is my farm right here, guys. While I'm over here, I'll show you my farm if you haven't seen it already. This is my farm. There's my cattle. Sorry for the humps in the... In the and the cow pasture is just on an unlevel land. I haven't fixed that yet. I don't know if I ever will. I don't really like messing with the sculpting too much. Just I mess with the painting. Um, but see, I can actually go over here. Let me uh, switch this over to that grass right there. I can actually go over here. See, I can either cut the grass or I can take this thing and just hit the A and it'll just, it'll just paint right across it. See? And just makes it all flat like that. So, you know, it wouldn't take me actually very long to do it. It wouldn't be very long at all, actually. So we just go straight up to there like that. And that's always a lot easier. A lot easier than cutting the grass. I know that. So you can do it all up through here. I think that's what I might do. I think I might just actually uh, paint the paint the area. And um, just want to make sure I don't get over my field there. Let me make this circle just a little bit smaller. That way it doesn't... If it does go over there, I can pull it back out. So just, sorry guys, I'm, I'm lollygagging here. I'm just trying to get this little bit 
taken care of before I go back to my tractor. But see, yeah, guys, you just take that grass right up just like that. Just like that. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do, just like that. See, this is, the hard, this is the difficult part right here. You don't want to get your field. You definitely don't want to get your field. So the best to make it a little small, like that. I think the sculpting thing is awesome. I think it's I think it's pretty cool how they how they made that. And then when you go up towards the edge of your field, you want to go as easy as possible. You don't want to get the edge of your field by any means at all. You don't want to get the edge of that field. See, it's that's that's risking it right there. That's risking it. So I'm gonna stop right there with what I'm doing, and uh, we'll actually. Uh, See, like this right here, I can flatten all this. And that's it, guys. So that's that's all I'm going to do right now. But anyway, guys, shut the tractor down. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for your love and support. Every day, Monday through Friday, join me on YouTube for the, for the, best, the best videos on YouTube and the latest updates on each and every game. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless. Take care of yourselves. Stay in prayer. And peace out.